among other things, like making sure I have all the right equipment, everything's in the room. That's very much Amy's job. So I'll turn it over to Amy. Yeah, and you do keep you covered. We don't leave you sitting there with nothing on. You can move like on you the whole time. What I'll do is I'll come out with a May and I'll ask you a whole bunch of questions. Same ones you've heard a hundred times. You'll get sick of them. And then the child loss specialist a lot of times will be there too. And she'll come back and she'll roll back with us to the OR. I know how nervous you are. We get into the OR and you'll, you'll see. On the way back to the OR, you'll put on a hat, just like us. We'll cover up all your hair. <laughs> and you'll get one too, because you can't live better than us when you go to OR. That's just the rule. And when you come into the OR, you're going to see somebody with one of these on, sitting in the corner, kind of scary, because they're going to have this on, and then they're going to have a big green thing on like this, big green gown on, that's in the, in the corner, they're not a monster, they're just getting ready to help Dr. Rankin with the surgery, they're, um, <coughs> we'll, we'll pull you up to the anesthesia and we'll Get you ready to we'll put a warm blanket on you. We'll get you ready to go to sleep. After you're asleep, we don't do anything to you until you're asleep, until you can't, until you don't know what we're doing. We, um, after you're asleep, we, uh, we'll turn you over on the bed, and there's a picture. If you want to pass it around. We'll turn you over on that bed, and we'll then try to hook you up to all his monitors to monitor your nerves and so he can tell Dr. Megan he's doing the right thing. Yes, we turn you over from. That's why I said we, we keep you covered the whole time. <laughs> we don't, um, we even have a little towel that we put over like this. We put over your, over these. Dr. Megan called them dignity towels. <laughs> he asked for one. He's very, every time. So we'll put that over you, we'll turn you, We'll cover you up again. We'll position you on that bed so you're not touching any metal. So you're not, your feet will be up. Your knees will be on, on a gel pad, on pillows. There'll be something in between your legs so your legs aren't touching. Or a little pad in between your legs so it's comfortable. They'll, let's see, what else? Do you have any questions? Before I turn you over, we'll, I'll, I'll put a catheter in you so you don't have to go to the bathroom when you're starting. It's about four hours, so you won't, you won't go to the bathroom on yourself. That's a, lot of, that's a fear a lot of people have. You, you'll, um, I'll do that before we turn you over on your stomach. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Grace doesn't remember any of this because she was asleep mm -hmm. during this time? Yes. Okay. That's because of the wonderful medicine that Renee gives you. Right? <laughs> so you won't remember any of this stuff. Yeah. This is just what happens after right. you're asleep. Mm -hmm. Didn't she give you Valium or what other? Like she what is, the first medicine she gives you is first aid. first aid. That's the happier that's the to be your medicine. That's the that giggle talking about. <laughs> it's like the beginning of the amnesia drug. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that going back to the other war. Okay, yeah. But then they give you stronger stuff in the OR. Right. Because they like to monitor you more after they start giving you the uh, stronger stuff. <coughs> but uh, we're setting that one more related. So yeah. They're almost the same. So, yeah. It lasts a little shorter time and um, it just works better with the anesthesia. Amy, so. okay. The other thing Amy does, mm -hmm. um, uh, Amy actually takes two roles sometimes, I mean, not at the same time. But sometimes she's what we call the circulating nurse, who's the person who brings you in the room and, and gets you all prepared and pads you. Sometimes she's the one in the, uh, yeah. in the outfit. She's what we call <laughs> the, the scrub nurse. And if you're coming Monday, and, uh, I'm the one that'll have this song. Yeah, and uh, what her job is is to make sure I have the right equipment uh, at the right time. So she keeps me out of trouble, which is good. And um, uh, again, make sure that the instruments are in the right position and I'm using them in the correct order and that we have all the the implants and everything. That's the arms in the room, x-ray will come in the room, yeah. you know, make sure that's in the right spot. We do use x-ray to, to make sure that the instrumentation goes anyway. 